Hello, I am Jiwon Kim, a PhD student at Songyungwan University. Here, I am presenting the paper, Self-Feedback DTR for Temporal Action Detection. Let me get started. The field of temporal action detection addressed in this paper aims to locate human actions within a given video. In other words, the objective is to identify which actions occurred during which time intervals when a video provided to the model. There have been attempts to apply DTR to the field of TED. However, DTR-based methods in TED still exhibit lower performance compared to conventional methods, particularly when DTR does not utilize deformable attention. The DTR architecture consists of self-attention modules in the encoder and decoder and cross-attention. However, upon examining these self-attention modules, we discovered that attention tends to collapse onto a small number of key elements. We refer to this as temporal collapse. This temporal collapse manifests in a pattern as shown in the figure. And in fact, we found that removing the self-attention in both the encoder and decoder had little impact on performance. In other words, it suggests that the self-attention modules are providing little assistance to the current model. This is a significant departure from the results observed in object detection with DTR, highlighting that the main issue currently lies within the self-attention mechanism. This issue has been partly pointed out in previous DTR-based methods for TAD as well, but they have typically addressed it by re replacing the problematic standard attention module with alternative ones rather than solving the problem. However, our goal is to shed a clear light on this problem and work towards a resolution. As shown in the table above, our method self-DTR tackles the problem by using standard attention for all attention mechanisms. First of all, we considered what kind of self-attention map would be ideal. To gain insights into this, we observed well-trained object detection self-attention maps. We noticed that for the encoder features, there is a strong correlation among nearby features, and the decoder queries also have high self-attention scores. In contrast, collapsed maps do not take such positional information into account at all. We aim to address this collapse phenomenon and achieve an attention map like the one on the right. When considering how to teach such a self-attention map, we focused on the one aspect unique to the DTR architecture, which is the cross-attention mechanism. In other words, our approach involves providing guidance for self-attention from the cross-attention. The cross-attention map represents the relationship between the encoder and decoder. Assuming that four queries calculate attention scores for the encoder features as shown in the example above, we can define that queries 1 and 2 are similar and queries 3 and 4 are similar. Moreover, from the perspective of encoder features, reason 1 is focused on by queries 1 and 2, so features within reason 1 can be considered similar, and the same goes for reason 2. This method of obtaining self-relation can be achieved through a simple matrix multiplication as described below. The decoder guidance map G under D, obtained through matrix multiplication, yields a self-relation map where the similarity between 1 and 2 and as well as 3 and 4 are high. Similarly, the encoder guidance map G under E shows high similarity within reason 1 and within reason 2. To sum up, the final objective function is as follows, where lambda adjusts the weight of each loss function. The first experiment aimed to assess how much the temporal collapse issue, as I mentioned earlier, was elevated. We measured the diversity of the self-attention map for each layer. The equation above follows the formulation presented in the previously mentioned ICML paper, and using this equation, as the DA value converges to zero, it becomes close to a rank one matrix. As shown in the baseline without self-feedback, diversity converges to zero over layers, indicating severe collapse. However, with our method self-DTR, diversity is maintained and even increases over layers. This demonstrates that self-feedback effectively addresses the temporal collapse problem. Next, let's compare our method with state-of-the-art techniques. On the SOMOS 14 dataset, our model not only outperforms DTR-based models, but also achieves higher average MAP than traditional models. On the ActivityNet dataset, our performance is still lower than traditional models, but it excels among DTR-based models. This performance is particularly significant because it was achieved using only the previously underperforming standard attention. Next, let's examine the ablation study. As shown in the table above, Providing feedback to both the encoder and decoder results in the most significant performance increment compared to when no feedback is used. The table below presents the performance for various methods of providing guidance to the self-attention maps in the encoder and decoder. As in indicated in the table, the encoder benefits from averaging with a metmal approach followed by guidance, while the decoder performs best when a guidance provided at the layer level. Through this paper, we have raised the issue of collapse in the first ever DTR model applied to the TED field. Furthermore, to address this issue, we introduced the self-detail model, which generates guidance from cross-attention. Through experiments, we effectively demonstrated the resolution of this problem, ultimately showcasing the highest performance, especially among detail-based models. Thank you for listening.